Kwala coming back at you with another lesson. Giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kapadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the rule and teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. All right, so you see on my screen here, and you know, we all know this is coming. It says the UN warns of total societal collapse due to breaching of preliminary uh, boundaries. So this was published on the 26th of May, 2022. So what, last month? End of last month. I saw two videos that, you know, elder brothers did. Bishop Tazman while I'm here in the Atlanta camp speaking about how America's unraveling and literally Apostle Carr had the same type of title with the same America's un unraveling. And this is the part of the unraveling a total societal collapse. Societal collapse is based on the minds and the actions of the people. So if you look around and see what type of people, you know, the, the minds of the people, you can see where the direction of society is going. And the minds of the people are tainted and corrupt at this very moment, okay? Tainted and corrupt, all right? So let me get this real quick. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and 12. It says, yeah, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach Yehoshai shall suffer persecution. Yes, that, that's true. And it's just like in my last video what I said. You have to take the scriptures and put it in all scenarios because they apply to all scenarios. I know we, I think the scripture I was speaking about in the last video I did was in perilous times. When you go into perilous times, it, it means uh, it, it means evil pretty much, which means bad times, hard times, things of that such. Doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily always have to get to the extreme, extremity of things, even though things are going to get extreme, of AKA Jacob's trouble. Perilous times are right now. It's getting harder to live. The, the the cost of living is going up. Gas prices are going up. Grocery store prices are going up. People are getting impatient. People are um, off the rocker. You see all these mass shootings and things of that nature. We are living in perilous times. But the perilous times are going to intensify. So when I read this in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and 12, it says, shall suffer persecution. The men of the, hey, the men of the Lord, the prophets, right now are suffering persecution by just being in this hellhole. So let me get the word persecution real quick. Okay. We're being persecuted every day. Strong's G, 1377. Dioko. Dioko. All right, Dioko. So... It said we shall suffer persecution. Like I said, we're suffering persecution every single day. It's just going to intensify. That's it. All right. It says to make, to make, to run or flee, put to flight, drive away. There's a reason I started off with verse 12 instead of just going down to verse 13. Okay. Which is in a point in itself. All right. But the reason why I brought out verse 12 is specifically for this word persecution. Because it says to make, to run, or flee. Now, one thing we have to understand, okay, and this and this video is about society, uh, societal collapse, okay? One thing we have to understand about society, when people start leaving society, is when society starts to fail. And we're seeing society fail. Because truth has been coming out. Therefore, people are leaving society. Believe it or not, we're not the only ones who turn their back on this world. We aren't. The scriptures talk about they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. All right. So there's some individuals out there who just need to put a little nudge in the right direction. But they've already made the first step with realizing that this world, this society ain't shit. And they instead instead made the conscious decision to extract themselves out of it to make their time in society diminutive uh, as diminutive as possible just like we did when the moment we got the truth 
we were like, man, screw all of this. I've been lied to my whole life. I'm put, I'm, I'm, I'm retiring and, and pulling myself, putting in my resignation to the society. I no longer want to be a part of it. Once people start leaving society or fleeing because of the persecution that society is giving them, all right, it says to make, to run or flee, put to flight, drive away. When society has, you know, once they realized it and society, once they realize the truth and society starts persecuting them, that's when they start putting putting themselves to flight and, and fleeing away from it. This is in turn which, which is going to start the uh, societal collapse, which we're seeing right here is ramping up every single day. But m the main thing how we know society is collapsing is because men, men are mainly leaving society. This society is constructed and made for the comfortability of women. It's true. It is true. Don't get me wrong. There are some aspects that benefit the men, the, uh, the male, but mainly it's to, to make the woman comfortable. And that takes a lot of energy from the male aspect side of it, which in turn we get sick of and we leave the society because it's not fit for masculinity. Therefore, society will collapse. Okay. So let's go back. It says Second Timothy three and twelve. Yeah, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach Yahweh shall suffer persecution. And we are suffering persecution. Therefore, we flee. All right. The scriptures even tell us when the persecution comes to flee into the mountains. All right. You could take that in a spiritual sense too. All right, we're fleeing. You could take. I know we know mountains means a uh, government. Well, guess what government we're fleeing back to? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's government, because under there we can find succor, safety, solace, is what we can find. Therefore, that's where we flee. The scriptures say, "Depart, for this is not your rest." Correct. Well, where do we depart? I'm broke as a joke. I can't go fucking nowhere. Well, my mind can, though. My mind can def uh, depart and flee from the persecution that society is bringing to us. All right. Here's another reason why society is collapsing. Second Timothy 3 and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So evil men are going to wax worse and worse. Evil people. All right. Meaning bad, bad people are going to start flourishing in the society, making the society extremely dangerous. And that's the route really that you want to see, because that's according to the prophecy. That's a biblical. And us seeing that this these things are happening means that Yahweh Shai is closer to his return to turn the society around and make it righteous. But first, there has to be a com complete co societal collapse of this world. Okay. Um, matter of fact, let me let me show where the scriptures pretty much talk about a societal collapse. <laughs> All right. This is Revelation twenty one and one. It says, "And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there is no more sea." This is an example in the Bible where there is a societal collapse or a societal change. The new heaven and the new earth is the kingdom of heaven. Is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's reign. The first heaven and the first earth, because you have three heavens. That's when you go back to the book of Genesis and understand that there's three three heavens. You got the earth. You got the the. Uh, the vaulted expanse of the sky, which I think in the Greek is Uranus. All right. So I'm going to get that real quick just to prove the point and bring home the understanding. Revelation 12 and let's go to seven. It says there was a war in heaven. OK, so but what heaven is this talking about? It's not talking about the earthly heaven. And it's not talking about the other dimension heaven, which the spiritual realm is in, which Yahweh, Yahweh Shai dwells. 
at the moment. Okay, this is speaking Uranus. This is speaking about the vaulted expanse of the sky with all things visible in it. So the blue skies with the with the birds chirping in the air and the, in the clouds and things in it. That's another heaven. That's a, another firmament. Okay, so we have to understand what three heavens the scriptures speak about. All right. So when it says, I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. These are speaking about certain heavens. So the first, the first earth is passed away, meaning what? This one that we're living in. And in a sense, it's speaking about the society. Okay. It's passed away because the earth we live in is running off a certain vibration, is certain, running off a certain frequency that is not hip <laughs> and privy to what the Lord is bringing, okay? Therefore, it has to pass away because two things can't stand together. There can't be two kingdoms uh, at once. There has to be one ruler, all right? For the first heaven and the first earth to pass away and there is no more sea, all right? So that's an example of a societal collapse in the book of Revelation, the 21st chapter, because things have to be re uh, renewed, refreshed, all right? Let me read a little bit of this article real quick. It says, when the United Nations published, let me zoom in a little bit. It says, when the United Nations published its 2022 Global Assessment Report on Disaster Risk Reduction, in May, the world's attention was on its grim verdict that the world is experiencing an accelerating trend of natural disasters and economic crisis. Because the prophecies are ramping up, take us to Matthew, the 24th chapter. Okay, takes us to Matthew 24 chapter. All right, Matthew 24 and, and, uh, <clears throat> and 6, and it says, Ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, we're going to hear of these things, an ex accelerating trend of natural disasters and economic crisis, but the end is not yet. Let's continue. Verse 7, it says, For a nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Will the earthquakes go back into natural disasters? Okay. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So what they're experiencing, what the verdict is they're putting in their GAR 2022 report is the fact that Matthew 24 is in full effect. Okay, let's continue. It says, but not a single media outlet picked up the biggest issue, the increasing probability of uh, civil, uh, civil, civil, I don't even know that. Let me just say civilization collapse, okay? Or civil, national, whatever, collapse, all right? They're not considering the minds in the state of people because they could give a shit about the individual. They could care about what people are going, they couldn't give a shit about what people are going through. Natural disasters are hitting, economic collapse. All these are affecting the people and are affecting the minds of the people and they're not considering it. Therefore, since they put their attention so much into natural disasters and economic collapse, they disregard and neglect the state in the minds of the people. That's when you go back to Proverbs 29 chapter. Okay? That's when you go back to Proverbs 29 chapter. 29 and 1. It says, He that being often reproved hard in his neck shall suddenly be destroyed and without remedy. And that without remedy. Verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear for the people mourn. You see that? When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear the role, the people mourn. Because the wicked could care less about the individual. The righteous gives a shit about the individual. Meaning they, the righteous wants everybody to be good. Everybody to be fully satisfied. And, and that's what we're going to get in the kingdom. Even the heathens are going to be uh, ecstatic when we're in rulership, once we put them in their positions. 
because at first it's going to be, a, a, you know, a rebellion against us when we, you know, when we come back and earth and set the government of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Well, I mean, that's 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 going to be easy to control because we're going to have all power, but there's going to be a rebellion. But once the new generations start to pop up and understand that we are, <laughs> and yes, we can say that because Yahweh, he is, we're going to be that he is to these nations. The Lord will we be a part of that number. Okay? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai. We are going to be those people or those rulers or whatnot for these heathens. And when the next generation, the next generation, next generation come, they're going to only know us. And the way their lives are going to go, they're going to appreciate us. Okay? Proverbs 20, 92, again, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear full, the people mourn. So the people are mourning right now because the the UN, these nations, these go governments, these countries don't give a shit about their own people, especially America, especially America, because that's the state of the world right now. The scriptures also say the love of many shall wax cold. Matter of fact, that's in the problem. That's in uh, Matthew 24. This is Ma I'm going to keep reading Matthew 24, 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations by my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because iniquity shall abound. Because people aren't being considered. And when people aren't considered... And when people aren't considered, they get butt hurt. Look at a woman when she doesn't get attention. She gets butt hurt. It's just a fact. When you don't give a woman attention, they get butt hurt. Well, guess what? The whole society is butt hurt because they're not getting attention from the government. When I'm going to be real, the, the people out, people in society need, need help right now. Help. Help. They need help with health, finances. Mental health, everything. They need help, and the government is neglecting them and not showing them the attention that they need. Therefore, their love of many shall wax cold. Therefore, that contributes to a total societal collapse. Yes, America is unraveling. Uh, Apostle Ricard and uh, Bishop Atazmon did beautiful lessons, and it's just true. Total societal collapse is at hand. And we're going through it and we're experiencing the persecution of society at this very moment. Even the UN knows it. So Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Billstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the 11 and 44 first fruit. Brother Kosh Kwan, until the next time, I want to say Shalom. And like always, repent, repent, repent for Yahweh Shai is coming back sooner than what me and you believe. Shalom.